or that uh, roll pin goes into a goes into a blind hole. Oh. Alrighty. Working on a big bertha today. I'm gonna take the wheels off because I got a leaking hub. Evidently, this tire has not been off in a while. trying to do here is there's three allen bolts all the way around for that I gotta get those off
see what kind of damage I can do here. I got my, uh, let's see here. These are the RBRTs, which is, they call it like the advanced hex. There's your part number RBRT. Can okay, see how it's like a backwards rake. So as you extract out, it pulls a little burr if it starts to strip. Let's try to get this sucker out of here. Without heat, hopefully. Without heat. So let's see how easily this may or may not come out. We'll actually start with the impact. Look at that noise. Booyah. Yeah, sometimes you get lucky. Bam. Heck yeah. All right. Go. Let's see what kind of flu we can catch. That's scary. I was gonna say, if it's not, I'm upset. Now, sometimes the axle comes with this thing, which actually I kind of prefer to uh, take it apart that way. All right. It's not horribly heavy, it's just very, very awkward. Just like that. That's probably uh, 30, 40 pounds maybe. Let's see. Catch as much of that crap as I can. I'm gonna have to clean all this up because someone's had it apart already. And at least that fluid in it, that's good news. Here's a sun or drive gear, bowl gear, planetary. One of those is leaking. Okay. Put this up on this block. Right, clean this off a little bit. plate is roll pinned in, but I think those just sit in a channel maybe. Let me see if I can get like a pry bar lady sweater stuff underneath there. I'm fairly confident that this is probably pressed in here 
I appreciate everyone watching. If you don't mind, like, subscribe, and sharing. And go ahead and comment below. Snap rings are as cool looking. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> Unless it goes against like an inside relief lip or whatever and just has to be pressed down hard against it or something. I don't know. Oh, shit. It looks like it's pressed in, like it sits in a groove or relief. <laughs> I'll put some sealing on it. There's no way I'm going to do this again. It's not hard, but it's just a pain in the ass. Yep. All right, well, I'm going to get back after it. All right, thanks, man. Bye. Okay, so that's effing weird. Or that uh, roll pin goes into a goes into a blind hole. Oh, all right, got this fingered out. So I was supposed to take the roll pins out on this. What you're supposed to do is this uh, roll pin hole is a blind hole. Like you can't drive it through the other side, but the roll pin only intersects about half, half of this. So what you would do is drive the roll pin in. So it's embedded in here, take the pin out. And then once you have it out, you drive the pin through. So that makes sense. Well, I got it out the hard way. Good thing roll pins are kind of soft. So anyways, now, finish knocking these little chunks out. cleaning up here is just this outside lip now the seal actually rides I believe right here so clean this up will just ensure that it seats in there just a little easier doing differentials because they're messy. They stink. Hate your oil smell. Okay. So a little bit of sealant. We're gonna put it on the inside lip where the o-ring rides. Now, take this guy. Ah, 
Now I gotta line up the roll pin. I got new roll pins, which I'm glad I got new roll pins. Oh, they're already pre tapered to fit. They look terrible to put in, though. Yikes. Okay. Okay. This is weird. I get all four of them started, and then I can pivot it around and shit, and try to hit it in. Alright, well, it took me a minute to get this figured out. But drove those, drove these pins in. They are sealed on the outside edge. Then you have to drive that roll pin in, keep it in there. So, anyways, that's done. Gotta clean this mess up, but we got that flange fairly clean. Time to stick it back on. It just takes an O-ring that usually just grease into place on the hub. That looks to be it. Look at that. Just kind of button it in place. Basically, have to get the planetary to line up with the axle. Usually just keep spinning it. Keep pressure on it. There we go. And it lines up. Now we got to line up the bolts with those holes. Got that. Bell. 
Gebich. 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 And all that holds. There's no way. There we go. And we are fixed.